In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can generate viral content using Poppy and NN10, which is the exact same system that I've used to generate over 650,000 views just over the past 90 days on YouTube alone. And it's the exact same system that thousands of creators are using to generate high converting ideas for their platforms. So I'm gonna show you exactly what Poppy is, how you can use it, and then show you how you can connect it to NN10 to build a super powerful system to generate converting ideas that you will have on a daily basis in your database. With that being said, let's dive in. Now, the first step is actually signing up to Poppy. Now, lucky for you, I actually have a discount code down below this video in the description uh, where you get $25 of free credits. But if you join my free community, then you'll get $50 of free credits. Once you log in, you can go to pressing a new board. This is where everything starts. And you will see this page right here. Now let's press on AI chat because that is the main thing of Poppy AI. And what this is, is you talking to an AI chat. Then you might ask yourself, how is this different from using ChatGPT, Cloud, even custom GPTs or perplexity and so on? Well, the good thing about this is that we can actually attach different things to the actual AI chat for it to use as context to be able to answer questions. So let me give you an example. So let's say I go to my YouTube and I go to see a popular video, this one right here, master these 17 nodes. I can go back and I can actually just paste the video and I can put it here. And now I can connect this video to here. So what it's actually doing is it's transcribing the video. It's taking the transcript, what I say in the video, and it's using that as a way to train the AI to give us answers. So now I can say, hey, what are these 17 nodes? A very vague question, but because it's trained on this YouTube video here, then it's gonna give us the actual um, nodes. So manual trigger, schedule trigger, app trigger, data processing, logic flow, connectivity, AI integration, and so on, which makes it extremely powerful. It's actually insane um, because then you can connect anything you want to the actual GPT here for you to ask questions. And so I could also go here, I could copy this video right here, and then I can start asking questions about this video where I can say, how do I say to connect Claude MCP to NNN? Right now it will use this video right here to be able to give us the answer. And as you can see here, we have the different steps. So step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, step seven, and so on. And not only can you add different YouTube videos, but you can also add LinkedIn. Let's say I have this post right here on LinkedIn. I can simply just copy the link. I can bring it back and I can paste it here. And now this will connect it here. As you can see here, we're getting the content from the actual LinkedIn post. And you can do the same thing with the website. So I can go to jamsolutions.com. I can copy this, bring it back, and now, I can paste it here. Now that I connected it, I can say, what does JM Solutions do, right? And now what it will do is it will go here to scrapes to extract the content from the actual website. And it's gonna give us the actual thing. CR integrations, content creation, and attends, APR, value proposition, process, and so on, which is great because now you can start to see the different possibilities that you can use Poppy, uh, especially when you have tons of data that you wanna sort of feed into the actual um, chat. Now, the difference between this and a custom GPT is that this is really, really dynamic. Dynamic in a sense that I could also add another chat. And let's say the other chat only has, only is trained on this. So now this is connected here, but it's also connected here, right? But now this is not connected to the other ones. So I can't ask any questions about those. And so by having something like this, you can have multiple different AI chats trained on multiple different things, which takes seconds to do rather than transcribing it and doing a whole process before adding it to a custom GBT. So with that said, I can go here and I can actually go to my board that I made which generates content ideas, which is the aim for today's video, right? To show you this use case right here. So right here, I made a board that allows me to generate content ideas uh, for YouTube. So the first thing I'd give it is my brand. So I told it in voice recording, I said, who's my niche? Who's my target audience? What do I hate about my current niche? Tell us why you're making content. And then I give it four different videos of me, right? And so now it has context as to my brand, the way that I speak, how I position myself and so on. Then I also gave content to model inspirations. So I gave one of my videos that did well. I also gave Nick Sarayev and Nate Herx. So two videos that did well for them. So we can see the top performing post that they did. And finally, YouTube content frameworks. So I also trained it on the ultimate YouTube video intro. You can go full screen that I can see here, which has a pre-production strategy, the example TNT development. So all of these are basically different things that you want within the intro because the hook is one of the most important things when it comes to a video. Then we have the title, then we have the thumbnail, and then we have the script writing framework right here. And then I give it two different videos by this guy right here who talks about creating irresistible hooks and storytelling as well. And what I did here is I grouped them. You can make a group and then add videos inside. And I connected them all to the actual interface. If I go here, I can say, create 10 content ideas that I could use for my brand. If I press go, this will now use all of these as context when giving us the answer. As you can see here, now it's starting to give me all the ideas. We have five AI agent mistakes that cost me 50K. Learn from my failures. I build the same automation in three different ways. Here's what I learned. 
the 10K client call that changed everything, full breakdown. These are really good ideas, especially for my niche. Now, what it would look like for you is you would put your brand, so you would have a voice message talking about your niche, your target audience, what do you hate about your current niche, and you making content, because then it just has context. Some of your videos or posts, whatever it is, even LinkedIn posts, if you're looking to do this on LinkedIn, some content inspiration from people within your niche. And then right here, you can have the frameworks that I'm using uh, to be able to make the videos. Finally, you have this output right here with the 10 different ideas. Now, the question here becomes, do we have to go into Poppy every single time to do this? Well, the answer is no, because we can connect this to any 10. All we have to do is go up here to API. And by the way, you need the paid version of Poppy to do this. And again, you can get $25 of free credits in the second link down below. You can go to post and here you can use the URL and you can use the body to be able to make a request to the server to get Poppy's information. And we have to set it up by having the chat link and putting this as the body as well. And Poppy in this case would act as a normal LLM, right? It would act as a step that we use, like an AI step to give us some sort of information to then move on to the next step. So I already have the automation here. What I'm gonna do is run this and then show you how I built it step by step. I'm gonna press execute workflow. What this will now do is that it should run daily. Right now it's talking to the AI right here. It's talking to the AI, which is trained on all these frameworks, right? Because again, we're using this as an initial step, uh, like an LLM. And what it will do is it will take the text, the information from Poppy. It will then use it to then format it in a way where we can actually uh, understand and use it. And finally here, we can see that we have a list of ideas. So we have 10 ideas with the title, with the hook, with the content and why it works. So let's go through one. I built a 50K AI agent when my clients watched live build. Hook, my client just paid 50,000 to build this AI agent and I'm gonna build the entire thing live in front of you. Content, real-time screen recording of building complex AI agent in N10, showing every step, mistake and solution while explaining the business value to the client. Why it works? Because it combines high stakes money proof with educational value. The live build format creates urgency and authenticity that viewers can't look away from. It appeals to both aspiring agency owners and business owners wanting to see the process. And the thing is, AI could do this, but this is contextualized. This is trained on all of these videos. And if I wanted to, I could add even more videos and even more documentation, even more text, which makes the whole process so much more dynamic. So now we're gonna build it step by step. Now, ideally, we want this to be able to run every day. So the first step here is the trigger, which is the first step of the automation. And we're gonna do on a schedule because we would like for this to run every day at midnight, that's fine. But we could also do every week because we're not posting seven times a day. So yeah, we can do every week. Uh, let's go here, let's put weeks. One on a Sunday, that's fine. And now the next step is actually connecting Poppy to Anytan. So if I actually search up Poppy here, we can't find it, which is where we have to use the HTTP node, which is a way for us to send a some sort of signal to a server saying, hey, Poppy, here's a prompt, give me the response. The same way that you would use OpenAI. If I go inside here, now I have to fill out these different variables. I can go back to Poppy, I can press here, I can go to API, and I can use the post because we are sending a prompt and we're receiving a response. We wanna use the chat link. So copy this, bring it back and use this as the URL and make sure that this is post. And then it's telling us that the three different things that we have to send it is the prompt, the model, but also the save history. So do we want to save the history of the chat? So now instead of copying this JSON and pasting it here in the body, like you would for something normal, like here, JSON, we can actually use JSON and use fields below. So now we can put prompt. I believe that this is model and then save history. Cool. So model and then save history. And now for the prompt, I'm going to paste this right here. It's a very short prompt. It is not the best prompt, but it works. Using my brand, create 10 viral video ideas with hooks, content overview, and why it's a good idea. And then for the model itself, I'm going to use Claude 4. You can use other models, but Claude 4 is by far the best for content. And then finally, for the save history, you can put true. If I put false, it will say, don't save it. But if I put true, then it will keep the history of the conversation. And that's all we have to do. So the URL, which contains the API key, which is the password of your account at the end, and just three different fields to send it through. So now what it will do is it will replace me having to go into Poppy and me having to uh, essentially go out here and text it, right? I can just use it within my automation as a step. So now if I press execute workflow, what this will do is it will send a request to this chat right here. It will then give it the information. It's now using this, this whole thing as context, my brand content to model as inspiration and also the frameworks to then give me back the data uh, as an answer. And if I go inside, I can see that I get a bunch of text, right? And the bunch of text contains the first idea. So charge 500 for this automation, client paid me 15K instead, the hook, 
the content overview and why it's viral. So why it works as well, uh, because I asked it to give me the idea with the hook, content overview and why it's a good idea. Now, the problem with this is that it's, it's unformatted. So it's just a block of text. And if I wanna put this into a database that looks like this, right? Let me delete this, where we have first column title, hook, content and why it works, we have to do some sort of formatting, which means that we take a text, we then split it into different ideas and the hooks and the content overview, and then we add it to a database. Now, if it's not something that you've done, it's actually very, very easy. The way that it works is that we can now pin this because I don't wanna run it again. I can rename this uh, call Poppy. And now as a next step, I can use OpenAI message and model. And all we're doing here with OpenAI is saying, hey, you will get a block of text. You have to use this block of text to format it in a way where we can then add it to um, to a Google Sheet, right? And the way to do that is to split the actual ideas because there's 10 ideas. So we wanna split idea one, idea two, idea three, idea four, until idea 10. Now here we have to connect our account. So we can go to create a new credential. You can go to platform.openai.com. You then can go to your dashboard, go to API keys on the left, and then you can create a new secret key here. Once you bring it back, you can paste it here and it's connected. Now you can choose text, message a model. You can use 4.1 mini just because it is the speed plus quality as well. And now you wanna use a system prompt and then a user prompt. So for the system prompt, I go full screen. I can paste this right here. By the way, I'll show you exactly at the end how you can get the whole system for free, so don't worry. Uh, but what I'm saying here is that you are an expert text for matter and your only output should be in JSON format. And the reason why we say JSON format is because we want the block of text that looks like this to be represented like this. So we have an array, which is some sort of thing which contains different items. So the items will be the ideas. So we have a group called ideas. And inside the group, we have idea one, idea two, idea three, idea four. So we can then send it in different rows in a Google Sheet. And then we give it the whole JSON, which is idea, hook, content, why it works. Then again, idea, hook, content, why it works. And we do it 10 times uh, like this. Then after this, we wanna give it the actual text. So I can say, here's the text to format. And I can bring the text right here, all the way here. And down here, add an option for the output format. We wanna choose JSON object, okay? So now if I execute step, this will now take the text that comes from here, which is a whole block of text, super long, and it will turn that text into an array that we can use. Right here, you can see that we have the array ideas and we have idea with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine because we start with zero, so zero is one. And now because all of these are split up, then what we can do here is we can pin this and we're gonna use a split out, right? So a split out turns a list of items into separate items. So if I go here, I can connect this and now inside here, I can drag this across. I can add the ideas because that is the name of the array. And if I execute step, now I can see that I get 10 items. These 10 items are the different ideas, right? 10 items here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. With the hooks, the content, and what works. Finally, we can add this to our Google Sheet database, which I can make right here. So sheet's done new. And I can say date, so the date of which the AI makes the ideas. Then we have the idea title, we have the hook, we have, I believe, the content overview, and then why it works. If I go here, I can color it, make it white, bold it, center it, and then we're all good. Cool. I can now name this idea generator, copy AI. If I go back to my workflow, I can then press add. I can go to Google Sheets, append a row and a sheet, choose your connection, just log in with Google. And then she within document, append a row. The document will be the idea generator poppy AI. The she will be sheet one. And now what we can do is we can add the date, which in this case, we can go to expression and we can do curly bracket, curly bracket. We can do dollar sign now and it will give it to us in this format, which doesn't make any sense. So I can actually go to dot format and then I can put DD, which will turn it into this, which is basically saying, hey, format the date in a way where it actually makes sense. And then we have the idea title here. We have the hook. Here, we have the content overview here, and then we have the why works. That's it. And now I can press execute workflow, which will now send the ideas all through here, right? And it will give us the date, the idea title, the hook and the content as well. If I go here to the actual Google Sheet, I can see that we have a full list of 10 ideas with the idea title. If I charge 500 for this automation, the client paid me 15K instead. The hook right here, this client thought my quote was a joke until they saw what it actually did for their business. The content overview, so open with a shocking price story, show the simple automation you built, reveal the massive ROI, break down why they insisted on paying more, 
and teach value-based pricing versus time-based pricing. This is insane. It's actually very, very good. And then why it works? Because it's contrarian to the typical chart more advice. It shows real client transformation. It addresses biggest pain point pricing for your audience and social proof of your expertise. And now you have a database full of different ideas that you can use. And because this runs every single week, you will have a fresh new set of weekly ideas that you can use for your content. Now, if you want the full system so you can import it into your own account in any 10, then check out the second link down below. And if you wanna sign up to Poppy, then somewhere in the description below, there's a link where you can sign up and use the code Michele right here, you'll see on the screen uh, for $25 off. And if you join my community, you get it for $50 off as well. And this is genuinely one of the best tools that I've seen so far in terms of generating content. And it's the reason why we're able to post every single day on YouTube Instagram and LinkedIn. And if you like this video, then you're going to love this video up here where I show you everything that you have to know about the new Gemini 3.0 model, which is absolutely insane. With that being said, I hope you found value from this video and I'll see you in the next one.